In this video, we're going to write a C program to solve this exercise that a viewer has asked me about. A program is required to calculate the amount of paint needed for painting a fence. The program assumes that one liter of paint covers five meters squared and that the user is able to input the height and length of the fence. So to solve this problem, we're going to need a few variables. We'll declare double variables for the height and length of the fence, as well as the area of the fence and the number of liters required. Next, we'll prompt the user to enter in the height. We'll have printf height colon. So we're passing printf the string height colon, and printf is gonna output that string to the user. The user will then enter in the height, and we're gonna use scanf to store the height that the user enters into a variable. So we'll have scanf, and then percent %lf, and then and height. So this percent %lf here is telling scanf to expect a double value to be entered. And the second argument here, and height, is gonna have that value stored in the height variable. Next, we'll do the exact same thing with length. We'll have printf length colon to prompt the user to enter in the length. Then we'll have scanf percent %lf and then and length to store the length that the user enters into the length variable. Next, we can calculate the area. So the area is going to be the height multiplied by the length. So height star length is going to multiply height by length because the star operator is multiplication. And we're gonna store the result into the area variable. Next, we can calculate the amount of liters required to paint the fence because the amount of liters is going to be the area divided by five. So here we'll have liters is equal to area divided by five. Then finally, we can print out the amount of liters required. So we'll have printf liters colon percent f backslash n and then liters. So printf is going to output the text liters colon and then space. And then here we have this percent f and percent f is a placeholder that's telling printf to expect a double value to be provided. And then here, we provide that double value as the next argument of the printf function, and we're going to output the number of liters here. Then we have this new line character so that the line will then end right here, and any further output from printf will then appear on another line. So we could save, compile, and run the program. We could enter in a height of 10 and a length of 10, and now we get 20 liters. And that is correct because 10 times 10 equals 100 meters squared and 100 divided by five would be 20. Now the amount of meters squared that one liter of paint will cover is something that's given to us as part of the problem. So right here, I just included the value right in the expression, but what it could have done was created a constant variable and set it equal to this value. I would create a constant variable because this value is not gonna change during the execution of our program. Height and length will because they're going to be set by the user. So will area and liters because these are calculations we make, but this value won't change as our program is running. So we could either include it right like this in our program, or we could create a constant variable. So I could say here, const double, and I'll say meters squared per liter, and I'll set it equal to five. So this here is a constant variable. We can't change the value of this variable as the program is running, but I could use it right here. We might wanna do this if that value is going to be used in multiple places in our program source code because if somehow that value ever did need to change, we could just change it in one spot. We could just change it here, and wherever the variable is used, this new value is going to be used, as opposed to having to go through our source code and change the same literal value a bunch of different times. But if I do it this way, we'll get the exact same result as before. If we save, compile, and run the program, and I enter in a height of 10 and a length of 10, we still get that we need 20 liters of paint which is again, correct. Now there's one more way I could do this. I could also use what's called a preprocessor constant or a preprocessor macro. So I could say number 
define meters squared per liter five. So this here creates what's called a preprocessor constant or a preprocessor macro. And wherever I use M2 underscore per underscore liter in my source code, it's going to be replaced with the value five when the program is compiled. So down here, I could have divided by M squared underscore per underscore liter. And this preprocessor constant is going to be replaced with five when the program is compiled. So we could save, compile, and run the program. I could enter in a height of 10 and a length of 10. And again, we get that we need 20 liters of paint, which is correct. Now, again, this has the same advantage as a constant variable, where if this value ever needed to change, I could just change it in one place right here. And wherever I use this preprocessor constant in my program source code, it's going to be automatically updated to reflect that new value. So this is how we can solve the exercise with a C program. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.